What is an adult problem that nobody prepared you for? Controlling your finances. Everything I have learned about budgeting, debt recovery, pensions, saving, and wise purchases, I have had to learn for myself. You can go days on end without having to speak to a single person. At first, it's a dream come true. After about two months, you start talking to your toaster to pay the silence while waiting for your toast. Making important life decisions. When you're young, you have a safety net, but when you're an adult, you're taking on risk that can influence successive years of your life. Same goes for single versus family. It was a small thing, but today I called my dad to tell him I left a business that was steering me down, and his response was, I'm so proud of you for speaking up for yourself and living a bad situation. He has always been the one to tell me, this is bad, but it's your decision, and I'm proud of myself too for leaving that place. How much every injury you had as a kid didn't really heal. You just lay dormant until you woke up on your 38th birthday. Now it hurts all the time. I turn 38 in 2 months. Are all of my broken bones going to come back to haunt me? Basic home maintenance. When to change air filters, smoke alarm batteries, timing of lawn care. How often do you clean the gutters? Are you supposed to clean under the stove? What is edging? How to recycle? How to change locks? Etc. I usually just go to the Google. Let's see what is edging. No one helping you. No one helping you is one thing. I'm always amazed at the effort people will go through to steal from you or screw you over. Having to figure out what to eat three times a day. F that. Just eat twice. I'm still confused as f I thought adults had their shit together. Literally everyone is just pretending to have their shit together. Human lives are held together with duct tape. Being absolutely exhausted most of the time, I never thought I'd be a hate everyone guy, but I am and everyone can f off. We all become squidward after hitting a certain age. You either die a SpongeBob or live long enough to become a squidward. Me? I'm Patrick, fuck your rat race. The existential horror of being in a dead end job with a horrible boss, but can't afford to quit because you'll strafe. I just recently quit my unfulfilling job after working there for almost 3 years. Had a little saved up to help support myself until I find a job I enjoy more. How's it going so far? Having to not only make important decisions by myself, I expected that much, but also having to do so in a timely fashion uninhibited by indecision. The endless cleaning. I had cars when I was a kid, but I had zero clue how much actual work went into keeping house. I cleaned my house this morning, and by midweek, it'll be a war zone of pet hair, cramps, and dust. I don't even have kids. What the f? It's like the Enterprise gnomes show up when I'm asleep and f my house up. Being sick and having to care for yourself. Like when you were younger, your parents would get the medicine, or the medicine cabinet would just be stocked all the time, etc. But here I am with a cold, having to build up the energy to go to the supermarket to buy some aspirin and throw out lozenges all by myself. Careers. As a kid, you hear, what do you want to be when you grow up? And it's always nurse, doctor, fireman, game designer, etc. Which is all so simple. But then, when you do start training, working in that career, and you realize you don't like it, it just feels like such a terrifying thing to now have to think of a new career identity. I'm pretty sure most of us spend a lot of time working through this. Crap, my career isn't viable. What do I do? And come to the conclusion that yeah, it actually does make you more sane working in a shop or whatever than going home at night, having paid the bills and not stressing. It's the realization that really takes time. I missed my calling. Still don't know what it is though. It's tragic. Why can't I be an archaeologist and have a financially stable life? You are an archaeologist and you're surprised your career lies in ruins. The realization that 1000 is not a lot of money to have, but it is a lot of money to owe someone. It's like calories. 1000 extra calories is easy to eat in one day. Getting 1000 calories from your day on the other hand. Back pain. Everything hurts. The incessant flow of bills, phone, water, electricity, insurance, rent, mortgage, also college debt, oh, and dental care. Kurt Vonnegut had it right when he said the trouble with getting older is you outlive your teeth. 
Even if you take perfect care of your teeth, every time you chew, you are grinding your teeth together and a tiny bit gets worn up. If you ever figure out immortality, one of the side issues will be that around the age of 100, you'll need to go in and have all your teeth removed and implants installed. Even worse, they'll eventually need to replace the cartilage in every joint in your body. Either that or find some way of making cartilage heal. When to call a repairman and when you can amateurly fix it yourself. When to know a tradesman, plumber, auto mechanic, dentist, etc. is scamming you or actually doing their job. You wanna give them the professional benefit of the doubt too. But shit happens all the time. Do I really have to be a renaissance man in order to properly vet someone to do what they say they're gonna do? How much time you spend just doing stuff? Oh, I need to replace my tire, and that's over by the store. So while I replace the tire, I can do some errands, and I'll save time, and be home in no time, three hours later. Okay, just one more errand before I head home. As though how putting off a small task just a couple days in a row can quickly amount to a longer car. Responsibility later. Yeah, I can just leave this in the sink. Get to it later before bed, by two days. Why is this grime cake onto this plate? Still, I've been scrubbing for 10 minutes straight. And when you have free time to do something fun, you are too mentally exhausted from doing all the things you have to do that you waste free time how watching TV and how scoring through Reddit. My parents took my kids for an overnight last week. For the first time in over a year, I finally had a night off to do whatever I wanted. I fell asleep on the couch. The combo between lack of income and plenty of debt, and the random expenses that spring up just when you're finally getting money put away. Your savings account finally looking decent? Congratulations! Your car just died, and you need a new one. Also, your bathroom has a mold issue that will cost thousands to fix. Bye-bye savings! You telling me I gotta make food every day, often multiple times a day just to stay alive? I've been putting off going to the grocery store to get some ingredients all week because I'm a lazy f and I live out in the country. I heard a piece of a radio show on the future past how things have evolved when it comes to sustenance feeding ourselves. How women in the late 1800s used to spend 8 hours a day just cooking. And I thought holy no, 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 no. All the laundry, good grief does it pile up. This is how I feel about the dishes. I will never live anywhere without a dishwasher again. I run one load a day. Where they all come from? I have no idea. But dishes never stop. Oh my god, my current apartment has no dishwasher. And I just want to die every day. I'm literally counting down the days until I can move in a place that has a dishwasher again. A lack of community. Growing up, you have your elementary school. Each day you see your friends and participate in activities together. Sometimes they move away, and sometimes you do, but it largely stays the same through high school and middle school. Flash forward to adulthood, and you're just alone. You want to make friends IRL, but have no idea how to go about doing it without seeming creepy, desperate, or God knows that the death of the elder family and your rising name of that list. I was just ruminating earlier today with my station. It feels like I was 20 just yesterday. But then suddenly I have an adult daughter, a buried grandparents and a parent. And now more voices turn to me than I can turn to myself. Deciding what's for dinner every night for the rest of my life. Wait until you hear about two other meals that exist in the day. Vegetables die too soon in the fridge. Don't get me started on those bananas and their 18 hour clock. Thanks a lot for watching and don't forget to watch other videos.